Bula and Namaste. Uh, welcome to my vlog again. Um, this has been a very busy month. The busiest part, of course, was a very stressful part, I'm sure, for our students and staff who were sitting exams. And of course, there was a hive of activity on our campus with exams. And I'm sure our staff have been very busy examining the papers and collating marks and getting ready for the next semester. But I'm also here to tell you about some exciting things that have happened to us during the, the month. Uh, I was very pleased that we were able to um, re-energize and reinvigorate our um, cooperation with the Australian National University in the ANU. So it was a delight for me to have the Nobel Laureate Vice Chancellor from ANU, Brian Schmidt here. And along with his team, we resolved to work together and, and build a much deeper partnership uh, than we've had before. A key highlight of that event was the roundtable that we held where uh, Professor Schmidt, Professor Nigel Healy from FNU, Conai Taman and myself um, sat together and discussed the issues of how can higher education prepare our youth to deal with the challenges facing the Pacific region. This was a wonderful discussion and I, I think the issues raised and highlighted brought some clarity to how a university really needs to be thinking for the future. I'm also really pleased to report that our in-country science program boot camps are really gaining momentum and that they were here this month and really it was about the chemistry and physics labs and students from Tonga and Samoa were here on, on the main campus to uh, be able to use our facilities and to really work with the teaching staff from those two areas. Part of that ANU um, excitement also was the Science Circus Pacific um, show, which really involved up to 30 STEM girls from disadvantaged backgrounds. And the whole idea of the um, Science uh, Circus Pacific is to make sure that disadvantaged groups and, and to raise the aspirations of our, of our students, particularly in the area of STEM. I'm also really pleased to report that we've had some phenomenal research collaborations in the last uh, month. Uh, we signed an MOU and we signed a research project agreement uh, with the United Nations Women to explore the connections between gender inequality, violence against women and girls, and particularly sports, uh, especially sp rugby um, in the Pacific Islands. And we all know how passionate we are about rugby, but we just want to make sure that these issues are brought um, and researched in, in much detail. We also, it wasn't just at uh, Lothala that we had so much activity. In, on our Imalis campus, we held a very important workshop um, on um, international workshop on Commonwealth marine economics, which was funded by the UK government's Conflict Stability and Security Fund and led by the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. The CME program is working with the vulnerable small island developing states to enable sustainable economic growth and to alleviate poverty. I was also really pleased that um, two ministers from the Fiji government were here for the launch of our workshop from the 24th to the 28th of June, really headed by our, our eminent physicist, Professor Shushil Kumar, on the applications of global navigation satellite systems. This was a very important topic, uh, which involves a cross-disciplinary approach uh, where so many of our scientists were involved. I'm also really pleased to report that Pacific TAFE has been really towering ahead and doing some very exciting things. And one of the most interesting things that happened this month, of course, was DVC Coal um, launched the Tourism and Hospitality's inaugural Industry Advisory Group and signed an MOU with Pullman, which is the ACOR group. And I know that Pacific TAFE is working hard to make similar agreements with uh, major hotel groups and also with uh, Fiji Airways. Perhaps one of the biggest events we've had in cooperation with Pacific TAFE and APTC and the University of South Pacific was the Pacific Skills Summit, which was held just this week. The summit really brought together an international audience 
and also people from all over the region to really look at the major issues which surround skills for the future. This was a very interesting discussion and I'm very confident that much will be made of this and that this will in the future become a regular event uh, where people will sit and come together to develop some of the, the most innovative ideas to take the Pacific Islands forward. Finally, what I'd like to really talk about is um, since I've been here, I've been desperately trying to reach agreement on um, making sure that people who, were, who haven't received their pay from the last triennium, that we sort that issue out. And this really involves uh, predominantly two or three categories of our staff. And as you know, I'm on record saying that I don't like the term INJ, but I have to in this particular case because it's, it's their case that is pending but also our part-time hourly paid staff, our TAs, and our regional campuses, which haven't had, in some cases, any collective agreement since 2004. I'm pleased to announce that, at least with the regional um, campuses, much of that work is now complete. So I hope that the next time I address you, I have the news to say that we have now reached conclusion. I'm very optimistic, because I think this is an issue that we really need to resolve um, rapidly. So once again, thank you very much for listening to me and a very big thank you, Venaka Vekalevu and Danyawad. Mm -hmm.